folks, Wes here, Craft Beer Geek, uh, back with another beer review. Uh, tonight we have a beer from Sprecher Brewing. Um, they are located in, uh, uh, where is it, it's Wisconsin, uh, Glendale. Uh, very close to Milwaukee area. Uh, been up in that area a couple times and still haven't had a chance to get to the brewery yet. I really wanted to get a tour last time I was up there and just didn't work out but hopefully next time I get up that way I want to go to their brewery but they do have some good beers and this is their IPA squared which is double IPA uh, this comes in at seven and a half percent alcohol by volume uh, and it's uh, 88 IBUs it's been brewed since 95 the malts are two row caramel carapil uh Munich pale victory and the hops are Chinook, Fuggles, Northern Brewer, and Willamette. And this is uh, nice thing about Sprecher is they their beers come in a 16 ounce bottle, so it's kind of in between the 12 ounce and the bomber. You know, 12 ounces sometimes not enough, and the bomber's sometimes too hard to finish by yourself. So really cool size. I like that. You know, it sort of sets them apart a bit. I like that about their beers. So let's go ahead and. Open this up and see what we got. Oh. <clears throat> there it goes. They are twist offs, but they can be t difficult sometimes. And I'm going to drink this in my uh, snifter glass tonight. Okay. It's a bit hazy. Very, very nice orangish color with a very um, pillowy light head mm. this bottle is a little bit old so I do expect the hops to have faded a bit uh, as far as aroma hops still should be pretty bitter uh, should be pretty malty because of the it's a double IPA it is does smell quite malty in the aroma, I get like a, a toasted wheat bread almost uh, aroma off of this. So let's go ahead and give it a taste and see what we think. It is, it is quite uh, a sweet, malty uh, sort of character to this. Uh, there's a little bit of a little bit of uh, a fruitiness almost to it. Uh, a fruitiness, as in more like a, a Belgian style, you know, dark fruits a little bit, a little bit of that, a little bit of that hint. It's still, you know, bitter, malty beer, but you're getting a little bit of that. Uh, sweet sort of dark fruit to it. Like I imagine, the beer is quite bitter, but I think it has lost some of its uh, hop aroma. And that's a, that's the thing I notice uh, with beers as they age; they don't really lose their bitterness so much as just the hop aromas. Um, you know, this beer is this is <clears throat> this is sort of on the low side for an for a double IPA. But it's still sweet, but it has it has bitterness to back it up. That's still there. It's still it's still quite balanced in its flavor profile as far as the the balance between the sweetness and the bitterness, and it, it's it's got a really good balance to it. I don't really talk much about the mouthfeel. It's uh, it's pretty light for a double IPA as far as mouthfeel goes. It's not it's it's definitely more of a medium to heavy mouthfeel, but it's not really heavy quite tasty. I could see myself ordering more of these. I was somewhere that had it on tap or uh, just happened to be in a bottle shop somewhere and was able to pick it up. So let's see as far as rating goes. Like I said I do I do really like the uh, 16 ounce size. I wish more uh, brewers would adopt that. 
as a size and maybe might bring the price down of some beers a little bit um, and you know it's, it's, it's often difficult to finish a 22 ounce by yourself and sometimes you want a little more than a 12 ounce so this is this is a really nice nice size and I'm glad they've chosen to go with this it sort of sets them apart like I said it's really good this beer you know it's 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 pretty good if you want a nice balanced double IPA that that is uh, has has some malt sweetness to it nice nice flavors nice caramel a little bit of dark fruit <clears throat> um, but has you know a, a reasonable amount of hops to back it up it's not monstrously hopped where it's you know puckeringly bitter or anything like that but it's just very very well balanced very tasty very nice drinking you know sort of a not a real heavy mouthfeel just a nice uh, rich mouthfeel to it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10 it's, it's quite good quite tasty like I said I would order this again if I saw it I would buy it if I was looking for a double IPA and this happened to be one of the choices um, something I know I can trust that would be good so I'm West your craft beer geek Thanks for watching. I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. See you next time.